people on my channel who are into guitars and guitar effects. If any of you are actually using the guitars and guitar effects, there's some of, them, of you who might just have them on the wall, you know, and you actually create music, then very likely you're doing this in a DAW and very likely you're using some kind of drums. You might be using audio loops, you might be using um, MIDI loops going to some kind of VST, you might be using whatever your, your DAW has built in, you might be using MIDI file grooves coming from tune track, easy drummer, whatever. And some of you might be actually into, let me create a drum part specifically for what I wrote, which is very important. You know, where's the anticipations? Uh, I'm playing in a certain groove. You can't just play like a shuffly thing and then just have a straight groove. It just doesn't work. So if you want to learn how to create the drums, which most musicians do, even as a placeholder for the drummer later. You have a drummer, but when you're writing, you want to play your guitar to drums, or your bass to drums, or your saxophone to drums, or you want to sing to drums. We all need that skill. Don't, let's not kid ourselves. Now, of course, many of you have heard about uh, the Complete Guide to Drum Programming, program, the, the Complete, <laughs> many of you have heard about the Complete Guide to Drum Programming, my 15 hour course on spectadigital.com. Some of you even have it, more of you should have it. Whoever has it, the feedback I'm getting is, this is the shit, that's the course. Now, I wanted to do better. It's an amazing course, trust me, I know, I made it, I've watched it. I'm making money with it. But the concept was, let's talk about all the uh, VSTs and give you an overview, give you an overview of how I program, and then we tackle certain basics uh, and more advanced concepts um, with my way of programming in Cubase, in the drum edit and all that. But why we actually talk about groove and ghost notes, uh, the camera went to my friend Hank, a drummer sitting back there in the room with many different angles where you could actually see how it's implemented on the drum kit. So what? What more can you do? How much better can you get? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Let's tackle specific styles, really focus in on a style, but still being general enough so you could apply it to anything you want to do. Hire one of the best drummers you can get in the world, which is Felix Lehrmann. You might know him from the Martin Miller Session Band. He plays for Sarah Connor, uh, played for the Flower Kings, uh, which I didn't even know that. That was so amazing. What an amazing band. Um, uh, the voice of Germany and so many like German acts. He's one of Germany's most booked studio drummers. He's absolutely amazing, mind-blowingly professional, a super nice guy. We worked together for five days. It was amazing. And I said, let's create a series of courses specific to certain styles and topics. And what we have now is classic rock. That's what we did on the first day. Big thanks, by the way, to Robin and Tonya who were on the team. Without them, I couldn't have done it. And uh, Pascal Baumgettel who set up the whole drum miking and, and, and uh, routing system. And Robin and Tonya were total troopers and they, they sat here, they switched, they did cameras. Uh, this, this was a team effort and not just, you know, Felix and me. Even though we're the only ones you can see. Big thanks to my friend Stefan Kambach for the mind-blowing pictures that he took. Thank you, Stefan. I wanted to go all the fuck out. So we got six cameras on the drums. There's a top view, a back view, there's a hi-hat view, there's a front view, there's a Felix only talking view, there's a kick drum view, and there's a mobile slow-mo view. And the whole thing is filmed live. So whatever I'm doing in Cubase, Felix can hear and see. Whatever he's doing upstairs, I can hear and see. We can all see the uh, thing that's being switched. And that allows us for the interaction and to really go and say, well, uh, is that kick drum good? Should we pick a different kick drum? Ah, yes, no. That banter between us is just so much fun. And then we look at ACDC. Well, that's a simple groove. Anyone can do that. But how do you make it push? We look at how that's done. It doesn't go static. It's more like... And it really pushes the whole the whole groove. And it got a little bit of swing. I mean, if we 
think about ACDC, you would never expect the band to have any swing. It's a rock band. But actually, the hi-hat makes the difference. Um, so we're going to go full blast, and then I'm going to go a little bit... Huh? Ah. I'm going to go 100. Uh, what makes a Led Zeppelin groove? It's actually, once we look at it, it's super simple. What defines a Led Zeppelin groove? Uh, by moving this, this snare on the end in 16th kick drum patterns. Bam, you have a bonum. How do you make a bonum? That's how you do it. What defines the who? Well, there's a couple of different, very specific things that do it. How do you do a, an Ian Pace shuffle to de that defines Deep Purple? And what makes a huge difference are the ghost notes, actually. Absolutely, we have to fill that in. So yeah. where in the world do you do that? Yeah, it's, I, I, for me, it feels like an eighth note pulse, more or less. Now, of course, you're not going to do Deep Purple, you're not going to do uh, your own Led Zeppelin band. Maybe you do. But the idea is learn these things so that you have them in your tool belt. You can pull them out and like, I want to shuffle. Kind of like, kind of a little bit like a Deep Purple thing. There it is, and we can do it. I started that morning being a very good drum programming. Pro pro drum programming. That's how, that's how you say that. 30 years of experience. I ended that first night, I'm not shitting you, mind fucking blown, 20 to 25% better. I'm not shitting you. I learned so much that one day, and then the consecutive days even more, that with my skills, which are pretty damn high on the drum programming, I was amazed. Now, if I can learn that, you can learn that. The stuff you can learn in this course, in the quality that it's in, 4K and all that bullshit, with all the cameras and all the details, it doesn't exist anywhere. There are, I think, three drum programming courses anyway for realistic drum programming. Two of them are metal, then there's mine. And now we go and we try to simply just nail and kill everything else that's out there. Um, when you want to do extreme metal drum, drum programming, go to Scott Elliott's course. Great course. That's not my bag of chips, cup of tea, wheelhouse, my bellywick, as they would say in Scotland. But what we're doing here, I will say straight in your face. I don't think you can find anywhere. I know you can find it anywhere. I sent this to industry professionals from uh, software companies and, and other people, and everyone's like, whoa, yeah, let's not talk about the quality. That's there. Let's not talk about the information. It is a fucking goblet of knowledge. It's a freaking, like, goblet is big goblet, you know, like Harry Potter, gob but instead of goblet of fire, it's a goblet of in here knowledge. I'm very excited about this. Can you tell? And this is only the first of many that's coming. Classic rock. Drum programming, programming classic rock drums with Felix Lehrmann and me. It's a five-hour course. Um, you can get it on Spectre Digital for $97. I think for Black Friday, it's on sale for $79. But ugh, what's the difference? That's I'm guaranteeing you, if you're the rock guy, that's the best $97 you've ever spent. I know, because I'd spent three times as much knowing what I know now, what I learned from it. Not shitting you, I spent a thousand. Because I not, it, okay, anyway. A couple of other things. Um, we cover certain bands and certain aspects of those uh, drum performances. Aerosmith, The Who, blah, blah, blah. But then 
the last lesson is a full song, three minute song that Felix played. I produced a full song on top of it and I'm programming that performance in the grid editor. So I'm not looking at him. I'm actually just listening and analyzing and then uh, fully programming the whole thing to have that performance. Does it sound like he sounded in the room? No, it's not the same kid and all this. It, there is a different sound, but the feel is dead on. I'm guaranteeing you that. And if you think you can hear that it's uh, programmed drums, you're dead wrong. You think you can, you think you can, you think you can, but watch it, get the course. It, 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 you can. I'm sorry, but you cannot. It's time to shake. That's a great list. There's gonna be more. On anything that's fast, like a roll, a certain hi-hat uh, hi -hat thing, snare, uh, uh, ghost notes, a, a fill, and we really wanna see what is the movement. And we ask Felix and he's like, I don't know, and it's too fast. Tonya went upstairs and we did 4K, 100 frames a second, slow-mo shots. So we're going down to a quarter speed in the highest freaking quality to give you the real detail so that you can see that's what's happening. I guarantee you that the course like this has never been attempted and I dare anyone out there to replicate what we've done. Uh, this is how proud I am of it. And as I said, there's more coming. So head on over to spectadigital.com if you like the first course. If you like the original course, you gotta, I mean, you got to have this. If you already know drum programming, you really feel that you're skills are down and you know your key commands and you're pretty fast in it and you just want the knowledge in this course, yes, you can watch it by itself. That does work, but you have to be confident in your skills. If you don't really know the workflow and you wanna get your feet wet in it, get the original course and get this one. There's gonna be a package deal for both of them, which is really dirt cheap. Um, I mean, what's the price of knowledge? I know I have to say this because I'm making money with it, but realistically, why why have all the gear if you if you can if if you could create better music with it for like you know 97 bucks or whatever the the package deal is? Head on over to Spectre Digital. As always, we put animals at the end. Spectre Digital, go on over there, check it out, and um, get it if you like. I'm not forcing you to, but you should. You really should.